too much. I swear that these niggas they be doing too much. I ain't got it. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Money Yachty TV, man. Today we got another installment of the NBA Youngboy DJ Academics Clubhouse interview, man. Now listen, y'all know we reacted to a little bit of it already, of Youngboy talking about the rappers he listens to versus the ones that he doesn't, and also him talking about the collab with 6 9 Now this video right here is NBA Youngboy telling DJ Academics that he wants out of his slave contract, and he talks about his YouTube earnings. Now, this is a topic I've been waiting to touch on right here, especially with Youngboy. We ain't doing no more talking. Let's get it. What's the, what's like the weekly schedule for you? Like, like as you you probably taking this like week by week, right? Alex, right? Yeah. But, What'd you say? I said like, what's YB's like weekly schedule? Like, like what's the plan? Like, just kind of like just kind of get through this, or you know, and right, let's focus on music during this down period. Is it, you know, like what is it? Uh. Shit, whatever we whatever no he tries to do. <laughs> hey, hey, real quick, shout out Alex, man, because Alex tapped in with the channel, always showing love, man. Shout out Alex. Shit, whatever we whatever no he tries to do. <laughs> Every day. The, the weekly plan is to become a free agent and stop being a slave to Atlantic. Yeah, but, man, you should have been off that label already. Like, like you, you, you drop mad projects. Stop! It's it's coming. Shit, but nah. A week of the plan is to become a free agent. Yeah, I'm actually complete something inside my life, and that's to complete my contract. Um, shit. Well, let me, well, let me ask and you a question. To uh, be a good daddy. Ain't that right, Momo? No, this is what I. This is why I couldn't wait to do this reaction right here, man. Cause for NBA young boy, let's be real. Right now, young boy does not need a label. He doesn't need a label at all. Young boy could become a free agent and still be one of the biggest artists in the game, still make more money than a lot of other rappers in the game that are signed to major labels. We know this already. And I know, you know, some people already know they're going to be like, well, young boy, the one that signed the contract, he didn't have to sign the contract. But y'all got to realize at that time in his in his life, man, he was what, 15, 16 years old. If they offering him, let's say two million dollars. You get $2 million up front, but you got to give us five albums. Five albums for $2 million. You think he going to turn down $2 mil? No. Nah. That's $2 million. Would you turn down $2 mil if a label told you, we lock you into a contract with us for five albums. We pay you $2 million, but we going to take all your YouTube income. You will get a percentage of whatever you sell in your, of your records, but we going to get 60% of what you sell in your records you get 40% as far as tours. Let's say you keep the tour money. Would you turn down that offer? No. Now at the point in young boy's career, he don't need a label, man. He want out of that whole deal. He want out of it, man. And honestly, like I said, he don't need it. And but he don't. To uh, be a good daddy. Ain't that right, Momo? Hmm? Hi, Momo. Are you trying to be a free agent? get back in another deal or, or like you, you just want to be an deal. independent artist oh uh, i just want to complete i just want to complete it it's like completing a, a completing a, a grade in school or something it's, it's like starting it's like building a neighborhood and actually completing this neighborhood and seeing what it was and what it now is What have you learned about the music business since you got in? It's grimy. That is slavery. Why do you say slavery? You got all the cars. You rich as fuck. Damn, she got, no, 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 no. Hey, I'm going to be speaking my, my, my piece on this. So y'all be prepared for the pauses. My bad. It's a reaction video. Now, listen. Now, academics, you acting like you don't know, my guy. You know, yeah, these rappers, they, they rich. They not as rich as they, some of them may say, about probably like out of the whole game, probably like a good 20, 15, 20% of them actually got bread. Now, academics should know this better than anybody else. Yeah, these rappers got money, but they could have a lot more. Record labels, man, they take percentages off of everything. 
Come on now, yeah, young boy got bread. For sure, young boy got bread. Multi-millionaire. He can buy his masters right now if he wanted to. But come on now, you know he could have double what he got now. Come on now. It's a slave contract. Why do you say slavery? You got all the cars. You rich as fuck. That shit don't mean nothing, boy. I, I work for that shit. I grind hard. I save my money. Yeah. I got my money the hard way. Basically not in an illegal way, but I got my money. The hard way, boy, I ain't never just got no big ass chick or no shit like that. I had to work and turn in shit in order for the just get money. I had to save. I had to watch how I was spending. I had to do all type of shit in order to get it to get to this point. Come on. So how is this? That's not like a job. So how is it slavery? Man, the business, the business side of this shit, boy. We don't, we don't get what we deserve. We ain't. Man, you gotta think about it, bro. Out of this whole, say if you make 300 M's, out of this whole 300 M's, you ain't gonna probably see shit but 20, 30 or probably not even that, nigga. You never know. Didn't I just say that? There's always some new, new pussy ass shit that nigga trying to come at me with, man. It, it, is it. If Atlantic Company right now would like, they say, yo, here's 10 million dollars, man. Just, 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 just give us a couple more albums, man. But man, I ain't never got no ten million dollar chick from them. But nah, it ain't. I ain't fucked up about Atlanta shop shit. Yeah, one of the they things. only, they only, they only doing what they was told. They doing what they do to please they boss. You know, they got somebody to answer to too. At the end of the day, you know, it's just cool or whatever. That what you work to be a free agent for, right? Or oh, that's what you, that's what you, that's what you not signed for to be away from that shit. And I signed, I signed to a label, so yeah, well, this is what I gotta deal with, this is what I gotta do. I got real, I got people that really support me over there, and I got some over there that I feel like ain't shit. Yo, I, I remember you started talking masters. Like, where, where did the talk of like, you know, you want to own your own masters even come, come into the thing? Man, fuck this shit, I'm gonna own my masters that's coming up why is that important to you though what you ak what you mean why is that you own if you own your masters man that's all your shit you own the rights to all of your music everything you ever put out that's yours nobody can say that they got ownership over that that's you my guy Come on now, very few artists actually own their masters. I know, I think Wayne, Wayne bought his masters. I think Drake bought his masters. I know Tory, Tory Lane's got his masters. It's a few artists out there that got theirs. I think Youngboy owns a little bit of his, but he wants all of it. And I don't blame him. Own my masters that's coming up. Why is that important to you though? Shit, it's like a retirement plan. What you gonna fall back on when it's over? But you still gonna be getting paid from what you gonna own. Young boy's smart as hell. Don't let all the internet memes and everything fool you. Young boy's smart as hell. I'm telling you, he's smart. But you still gonna be getting paid from what you gonna own. The fuck? That's like your life. That's like owning the rest of your life. Some shit. Exactly. You're like I'm on probation or some shit, in, in two different ways or some pussy ass shit. I, don't, I ain't got control. I don't own the shit. Yeah. I think that's the part of the growth I was talking about, though. Because I'm pretty sure, like, you at 16 signing a contract, you probably just, you know, at that point, you're like, you just need. That's a gimme. You just need money. You know what I mean? So you're not even thinking about like owning the rights to your music and no, owning the masses. But I think now, at like, 16 years old, my guy, I was a sophomore in high school. If somebody came to me, if I made music and some some motherfucker from Atlantic or something came to me with a two million dollar check or a million, even a million shit, a hundred thousand dollars, I'm signing on the dot, my guy. I ain't thinking about none of that shit. I know that's dumb of me to to say that, but listen, let's be real. Let's keep it a buck. Somebody come at you with a hundred thousand dollars, 
oh, sign this and we'll give you $100,000 right now. Shit, give me that. Come on. What you mean? What else y'all need? What? What? Come on. Let me sign this too. Shit, give me my 100000 You know what I mean? Like, come on now. At 16, you ain't gonna think about... You ain't gonna think about the future. It's fucked up because they don't teach you this shit in school. For those of you that's still in school, man, they don't... All that shit y'all learning don't mean shit. You ain't gonna use that shit out here. They need to teach real shit in school. Going over contracts. The future. Shit that really matter, man. Ain't no fucking A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We ain't gonna use that bullshit. YX equals MX plus B the fuck am i gonna use that in i still ain't i've been out of school eight years and i still ain't i don't even know what the fuck that what am i gonna do with that shit in a more mature position you in the, where you can see the industry more as business more than just like an upfront check i think that's why you care about it you know i think as you get signed in, i think well i think as you learn the business you learn you learn how much you do like how how badly you've been taking advantage of. They're like when you that's like with YouTube. I ain't never got paid from YouTube a day in my life. Nigga make all the money off my YouTube and then give me a small percentage out my shit. Fuck you. Young boy now y'all know this, man. When young boy posts a music video on his YouTube, that motherfucker hit a hundred K in like five minutes. Not even gonna lie. That shit hit a hundred K in like five minutes. You know how much money that is? Like, I ain't gonna, you know, I don't, it says, okay. With YouTube, my biggest video that I had, like, let's imagine, NBA Youngboy, his video hits a million views in like a day, less than a day, he hits a million views. The biggest video to, that I got on this channel, it hit a million views. I got, and I'm going to be real with y'all, because, listen, we family on this channel. Out of that million view video, I made $4,000 off that video. Now, young boy's case might be different, because, you know, his views are constantly going. But I made $4,000 off a million, a million view video. You know, of course, ads and everything taken into account. Now, imagine you putting out all this content on your channel... They all hitting big numbers really fast and you don't see any of it or you see a little bit of it. That they doing them dirty. They ain't give me a small percentage out of my shit. Fuck you. Like all that shit slavery, man. But you know that's what we signed up for business, so you can't really can't even be mad at it. Oh, no. I got money. I got fuck this shit. I got book of money. But shit, I still don't want to be taking advantage of. Exactly. Yeah, I can imagine all. Because, man, it, ain't no way. You should be getting, you should be getting a bag bag off of, like, just, just even YouTube. Fuck the rest of the stream. You should be, but, but of course, I'm, I'm pretty sure it, it, it's, it's, uh, they got some wiggle room in that contract that probably, you know, they get the lion's share of it. Can you take this off? Mm -hmm. Always go. Trying to steal my jury, dude. This your company. You get what I mean? I thought no. I thought you were I thought you were pretty much out of the deal already. That's all that's all I was thinking. Cause I'm like, all right. No. This is I, wish. I got I got one more album, eh? One more in the album. One more album. One more. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop my tape. With, I'm gonna drop my tape. With on. That's just. Burn man. That's just some shit to drop. Probably drop one more mixtape. Then I'm gonna drop my album and it's over with. And I know what y'all thinking. Well, why don't he just drop the album right now? Now labels, they got a strategic way. This is how they keep you in a contract for so long. They got a strategic way. And I'm not. Hey, I'm not a music guru, but I just go off of what I've seen and what I've seen happen in the industry. But they like you could be like, oh, I want to. You could be on some Gucci Mane shit. Let me drop five. Let me drop five projects. Get me out this contract. Nope. They're gonna let you drop one project. They ain't gonna let you drop another one for two years. Come on now. They could be like, oh, you ain't dropping another project for at least another year. You ain't dropping another album this fast. Why? So you can get out of our contract? No. I'm telling you, they gonna take their time with you. Now, of course, when this next album drop, it's gonna be a huge celebration for Young Boy because that'll be it. 
he'll probably be a free agent. He can do his shit independently. He don't need a label. But when this next album drop, man, for sure we on that. <laughs> if, if 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 Atlanta come to you and say, right, this is after the album, right? Say yo, they ain't gonna support. do it. They they ain't gonna they ain't gonna do it. You know what was that? They ain't gonna they ain't gonna come back at me because I ain't trying to hear shit they got to say. Nah, reason, I, they gonna another, say what? Another, they huh? they gonna say what I'm gonna say. Say they come back, they say yo, we got we got 15 million for you to give us three more albums, and if you do it. We'll give hey, you the master for every other album. Up <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, give you the master. Now that's tough in that situation. What up? You crazy as a motherfucker, man. Oh, that man, they ain't gonna do it, bro. They, 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 they gonna talk some realistic shit, man. They ain't gonna do it because I'm. They ain't gonna want to do it how I want to do it, and I, boy, this shit ain't. It ain't gonna go that way this time. Cause for one, you got, I bet you, you want to do that. Give me the whole thing up front. You don't want to give me the whole thing up front. I right, conversation ended. I don't want to talk. And then you got to have, man, man, the percentages got to be switched up, shot. And they ain't going to go, they ain't going to go for it. Cause they going to feel like it ain't business. But at the same time, shit, it, it ain't going to go that way. It's going to be too many, too, too many changes in the contract that they ain't going to want to go for. How does Birdman help you with this? Like, you know, Birdman is, is, I feel like he one of the only few that have successfully, you know, dealt with business with these big, like, you know, companies, Universal. Um, 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 don't, um, 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 I don't really want to speak for Unk, um, but Unk um can't show me how to do shit, but, but move forward and do everything right. Yeah. Shit, I don't, don't give a fuck. I'm gonna ride to give me a bag yourself and do this shit just me and him. I'm, mm. Shit, I don't wouldn't want me. If it, if it was up to him, I don't wouldn't want me fucking with none of them. Imagine if Birdman, if if uh, NBA Young Boys with Birdman and Cash Money Records, if Young Boys Cash Money, come on now. Cause I don't feel like them bitches been, been taking advantage of us for years. Exactly. Yeah, you know? that's all they do. Mm. All right, man. Y'all. Is it because they. they Y'all. Give me y'all thoughts on this situation. Do y'all feel like young boy after this next album, y'all feel like he should stay with Atlantic? Do y'all think he's getting fucked over by Atlantic? I mean, it's an obvious question that he is. The obvious answer is that he is. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on this video. Um. Link down below in the description for y'all to check this out in its entirety, uninterrupted. Y'all new to the channel, y'all rock with me on daily reaction videos, man. Hit that subscribe button, follow me to the next video. I'll see y'all then. Thank you for watching Money Out Your TV. I'm out. I ain't gotta do too much. I swear that these niggas, they be doing too much. I ain't gotta do too much.